Hi, this is Al from MockDive and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own Windows Media Installer or as what we like to call it, the Windows Installer. So there are multiple ways of doing this, but for this video, I'm going to be showing you two free ways, two methods that is widely known, widely used, and I personally use. So I'm going to hop onto my desktop and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So right now we are on my desktop and as you can see, I'm just on my desktop. The first method that I'm going to show you is the official one, like the really official one, all tools from Microsoft and the ISO or whatever file is from Microsoft. So let's hop onto their website. So, you know, the two main operating system that is really still officially supported by Microsoft is the Windows 10 and the Windows 11. It is your choice which one you want to go for respectively for your machine. So right here, I got Windows 10 pulled up and I also have Windows 11 pulled up. The method is pretty much the same. It's just a version of Windows that you want to make an installer for. So I'm just going to do Windows 10 because it is supported by basically all machines up to this day. And you don't have to fiddle around with installing it. But that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is just to show you how you can make the installer for it. So. Personally, I would suggest you to just use a boot drive. What is a boot drive? Your USB can be your main drive. Nobody does a disk anymore. Well, unless some of you still does, but I just suggest USB because USB, USB drive literally is compatible with most laptops. Almost every computer out there, they have one of those. So I'm just going to do it that way. But again, still your choice. But here, let's download this thing. It's called the create Windows 10 installation media. Or if you're picking Windows 11, it's the same thing, Windows 11 installation assistant. Or create Windows 11 installation media right here as well. So let's do that. Create Windows 10 installation media. I'm just gonna press download now and it's gonna pop in to my desktop. So after downloading, we're gonna be receiving this file called the media creation tool 22H2, current latest version of Windows 10. We're just going to double click it, press yes. And from here, it's going to create this getting a few things ready. So let's just wait for it. Once that is ready, this would pop up. And as you can see, Windows 10 setup, again, if you've downloaded the Windows 11, it'll be the same thing. It just says Windows 11 setup. So now we can just scroll down all the way and you can read this if you like. I'm just going to press accept. It's going to do more of these loading times. And after that, this would show up. What do you want to do? So since this tutorial is about creating the Windows installer, we're going to click on Create Installation Media. Now we can press Next. We can just do Windows 10, 64-bit, which is your language. And this is one of the under ways of the two ways that I'm talking about, the two methods. This is the official Microsoft method, and both of these is up to you. Now I suggest you guys to just create a USB flash drive. So you would need to have your flash drive plugged into your computer if you're doing this method or you can create an ISO file right here but we're not going to do that yet I'll show you that in the next method so let's just click on this one USB flash drive press next and as you can see it says we can find a USB flash drive because both of my drives are already populated with a Windows media installer now if so this should pop up on your screen you just press next, apply, and it will do everything for you. It'll set up that USB flash drive so that it can be a Windows installer. So great, that is the first method that is officially from Microsoft. And I'm just going to press exit on this one because I don't have a flash drive that doesn't have an install right now. But I'm going to show you the second one, which is Rufus. Now, you're probably asking, hey, Alan, what is Rufus and how is that different from what we just did? Now, Rufus is a little more. Instead of you being limited to the Windows 11, Windows 10 officially supported Microsoft OS, you can download modified ISO files for your own use case, of course. I'm not going to show you that in this video, but we have covered some in this YouTube channel, such as the Tiny 11. But here, this is Rufus right here. We just search for Rufus. Rufus.ie is the official website. We can go and scroll down. Rufus 4.1 P.exe. P stands for portable. You don't have to download anything. I mean, you don't have to install anything. You get this file. 
and boom, you got it. Now, in conjunction with this, you would need the ISO file of the Windows version that you're trying to create, that you're trying to do. Earlier, when we opened the media creation tool right here, let's open it again. We press accept again. We just do the same thing that we've done earlier again. Up to you if you want to go with the Windows 10 or Windows 11 or the other way is if you have your own ISO file or a modified Windows installer or you got somewhere else from your friend from another website, you can use that with Rufus. Rufus is basically the tool, the packaging tool that we're going to be using to create the USB drive installer. Makes sense here. If I click on create installation media, same thing, same process. Press next. Instead of click on USB flash drive, by the way, once again, if you click that, it's basically the same method that I showed you earlier, but this time we're going to press the ISO. Now we press next. It's going to ask you, where do you want to save your ISO file? Luckily for me, I've already done that. Pre-downloaded it right here, which is a Windows 10 ISO. Now we're going to go back to Rufus. We can press Rufus, open it up, press yes. Let's just do no for now. And cool. Now this is the device. You are supposed to pick one of your flash drive. Cool. And then right here, boot selection, we can press and select. And then let's just select this one right here, the Windows 10. Now, as you can see, we have the standard Windows installation, but unlike on Windows, their own media creation tool or own Windows installer creation, this one allows you to modify it. You can create one for MBR and GPT. Now you would have to do a little bit of research about your device that you're trying to make an installer for. Let's say my computer right here supports the GPT partition scheme. A simple way to figure out what your partition scheme would be is to head over to partition or this. Let's just search for this and create and format hard disk partition. Once you are here, you can see all of your device plugged in and whatnot. And let's say this one is my main disk, disk zero. This is where I install my windows. If I right click it and it shows you convert to MBR disk right down here, it doesn't matter if it's clickable or not. That means I'm using GPT because I am supposed to convert it to MBR. So this GPT would work for me, target system, keep it the same. I can click it, put a custom label whatsoever. And now if you have Rufus, which we have right here, we are using Rufus, what we can do is just press start. And then you have this custom Windows user experience that you don't get with Microsoft. Now creating a media creation tool with Microsoft allows you to just basically plug in a hard drive or plug in a USB drive, boom, it does everything for you. But with Rufus, you have more customizability. As you can see, I can automatically create a username and an account. It will also auto skip the Microsoft login, which I very much like. And I can disable the data collection and just set regional options to the same values as this users. Now, when I press OK here, it's basically going to create what I already have because this drive as once again, I don't want to bore you guys. I've recreated my own drive right here, which is the UEFI NTFS. And right here, I got the files for the EFI that is created with Rufus with Windows 10 on it. But with all that said, I'm just going to press close. For you, you'll probably want to press start because you want to start creating your own thing. But that is the two methods that allows you to create a Windows installer. It is actually pretty easy. It takes a little bit of time because it depends on your Windows internet speed for you to be able to download the ISOs and the media creation, whatever. But those are the two main methods. Once again, the official, official Microsoft one, which is all created with the media creation tool from Windows itself. And the second one is Rufus, which allows you to get any ISO, ISO also from the official Microsoft or external sources plug it into Rufus, and then Rufus package all of that ISO into your USB drive. And that's how you quickly create a Windows installer. Hopefully this video did help you. Again, this is Alan from Hawk Dive. Don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, comment down in the comment section below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe. And yeah, that is all and have a nice day.